And I have a dream this afternoon that the brotherhood of man will become a reality in this day with this faith. I will go. My mother shared with me one time, she says, with your gifts and talents, uh, to be thankful for the Creator. If someone asks you to volunteer, maybe you should. And one day someone slipped a note under my door to come to a local church to read uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech. <laughs> I did that in the morning. They had me to read another one in the afternoon. And after I did several speeches, I began to memorize a number of them. And along with that, I really identify with Dr. King's work and life. I think that this event is very important to CEI um, because it gives us the opportunity to celebrate and honor uh, the theme that Dr. King lived for, which was celebrating all people, no matter what their background was or is. And I met him also when he came to Cleveland on March 23rd, 1965. He made his initial speech there talking about the importance and significance of voting, which allows you to be as great as the greatest and as wealthy as the wealthiest uh, on that day when all of us are equal. Dr. King was about inclusion, about reaching across aisles, and he believed that the more people you have around the table with their uh, ideas, you come out with the best idea and you'll move toward individualism to a beloved community. Free at last, free at last, thank God almighty we are free at last.